Switching gears now, today marks one year since Hamas-led attacks against Israel, killing nearly 1,200 people and kidnapping hundreds of others. Community members in the triad coming together to make sure we don't forget this dark day. Celeste Smith joins us now live in Winston-Salem, where there was an event at a local church this evening. So Celeste, what did you see this evening? Well, the rally just wrapped up and the community really showed up in support at Bethabra Moravian Church. They prayed, sang hymns, and then also expressed solidarity with Israel and the Jewish community. God has led us to this moment and uh, we feel that we're taking a stand for him by doing this. Dozens of community members gathered at Bethabra Moravian Church in observance of the one year anniversary of Hamas's attack on Israel. It's the second deadliest event for Jewish people since the Holocaust. I cannot imagine how difficult it has been uh, for those who are members of the Jewish community. Uh, certainly they are being called to revisit what took place during World War II. And so it's, uh, it's a moment of, uh, it's a threatening moment for them. Reflecting upon the last year, Wake Forest University student Isabel Laxer says it's been a challenging time for the Jewish community. The Jewish community, I think, has just felt very isolated and hard. It's been very challenging for us as a people, um, both in Israel and abroad. In Israel, they're fighting the war, but I think in the U.S., we're seeing a really startling rise in anti-Semitism um, as a result of this, and that's very hard, and it feels kind of like we're all having to fight in some way. Israel is still at war with Hamas. So Laxer says rallies like these are needed to make sure people don't forget. There's a lot of power in community, community and camaraderie and having, despite this being such a trying time, being t able to have that short bit of time together, I think shows Jews and non-Jews that they're not alone and that they're supported throughout this really tragic time. Rally organizers say the hard work continues and they plan to continue to speak up for Israel. I'm going to call out to pastors and to congregations and inform them that they need to take a stand. This is not a time to hide. We have arrived at a critical moment in American history and world history and we must stand up to the darkness. Tonight, there are many other events being held in observance of the one year anniversary of the attack on Israel. A private memorial event will be held tonight at Wake Forest University for the Jewish community on campus. Live in Winston-Salem, Celeste Smith, Fox 8 News.